Hello and welcome to my second video of my NIM for Beginners tutorial series, How Programs Work. In NIM and most other programming languages, programs are written, compiled, translated, and executed from top to bottom. Let me demonstrate this by typing two echo commands. Echo hello. Echo world. Now, NIM will execute this from top to bottom, one by one. So it outputs hello world each in its own line. First echo being the first hello and the second echo displaying into the second line world. In NIM, commands and functions are called procedures. They take a fixed number of arguments parameters, each separated by a comma. Echo is also a procedure. Echo is a bit different from other procedures in NIM by not having a fixed number of arguments. You can give it as many as you want. Let me demonstrate this. A comma, world, I don't know, 10. Let's make a space to separate that. And here as well, you can do this. I don't know, string 2. And let's run this. Here, here we go. It displays all of them, all three parameters. Okay, let's delete this. Let's write another echo. And uh, in programming languages like NIM, you can also do calculations like one plus one. Let's try that out. And it's two. Let's try some other numbers like let's do multiplication. One times five. It should be five. And it is. Here it is. Now let's do some division. Ten divided by two should be five. Here it is, but with a decimal now. That is because NIM, like any other programming language, has data types, meaning every value must have a type. Echo procedure takes any basic type and displays it. It's string representation. NIM also has integers, which are whole numbers, floats, which are decimal numbers, strings, char, single letter data type, and more. So when the compiler tries to divide 10 by two, which are both integers, it must first convert them to floats. You can play around with the echo procedure a bit. Combining strings with numbers. However you want. This will all work. Okay, let's make some empty lines. Just because. What do these lines do? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Compiler ignores them. They're used so that your programs look nicer. This doesn't look nicer, but if you were to put like another echo and another echo, you could then, I don't know, have something else here and make a space to make it more readable. This is a bad example, but I will show you more in the next video. Okay, that, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. The code for this video is in the description. Have fun.